everyone, this is Professor Hall. I wanted to do a quick one or two minute, maybe three, video for you guys for each of our books um, so that you can see this lovely face um, and kind of connect with me a little bit better, hopefully. And um, I just finished doing the walkthrough video. Hopefully you've seen that today. I just want to talk for a moment about Charlotte Temple. It's our first book. So things to look for. I mentioned this in my lecture, but this is one of the first popular novels and really one of the first novels, period. Um, novels as a genre didn't really become popular until a little bit later on. And this is kind of the first best-selling American book. Um, the author published it in Britain, where it was best-selling there. And then she also lived in the United States, the newly formed United States. And it became popular there as well. So I mentioned in my lecture that this is, because it's a new genre, people had this worry that fiction was evil. Um, in some cases, people who were more religious and people who were not religious but were more philosophical um, thought that in general, the reading longer fiction would harm people's moral development. And so the author uses sentimentality to draw on the reader's emotions in part to say, there's a higher moral purpose for this book. So yes, it's a great story, but you should also be learning a lesson, right? And the thing is, sorry, the thing is that is, what's interesting about that is that the problem with sentimentality is that it drew too much on the emotions to cause a thrill in the reader. So this is a novel of seduction. We have Charlotte, a young 15-year-old girl. We have her seducer who is older and in the military and he comes along and whisks her away takes her to another country away from her family and her school and then we see her have a downfall so at various times the narrator is pleading for us to feel sympathy for charlotte and she's doing that to appeal to our higher moral reason but also to create a thrill of oh my what could happen if I was seduced and how could I not be like Charlotte? And oh, what's going to happen next? And this works so well that they actually have, it's in my, it, in the lecture notes, I have a picture of it. It's, um, they, they had a grave site for Charlotte. Um, years later, somebody created a grave site for her and people would go and visit that and, and read the book and cry. So the sentimentality, definitely worked. Um, it's a little didactic at times, meaning they're trying to teach you a lesson a little bit too much. But I want you to look for that. Um, themes of sentiment or yeah, themes of sentimentality, um, the tug at the reader to have a thrill, but also a moral lesson and also the role of female empowerment. That's going to be kind of the controlling idea for our class. We're going to talk about that in all of our books. So how much power does Charlotte have? How responsible is she for her fate? And um, how much power does she not have? And in comparison to the author, who I also talk about. So that's it. I will see you guys next time. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the book. Thanks.